wonder if I could make my cannon go off by flipping a switch. Let the redneckery begin. All right, you've all seen the cannons that we've uh, 3D printed and fired via fuse, but we got to thinking how cool would it be to be able to flip a switch and use electricity to fire this cannon. So we did, we got a 3D cannon printed up here for us with two holes, and we're gonna try to use some electrodes and some different methods to try that. Stick around and you'll see the test methods we try to see, can we get an electrical current to ignite our black powder. All right, this is the one of the methods we've tested already, um, and we found it didn't work. We bought this little transformer off of Amazon, and we hooked it to a 9-volt battery. It does create electrical sparks, but it doesn't ignite the powder. Snaps and sounds just like a stun gun, but it doesn't work. So we're going to try some stronger stun guns. Uh, this is a kerosene heater igniter. We're going to try that. And this one that I've done in the past and I know will work is Christmas light bulbs. So we're going to try these methods, see if we can get it to ignite some black powder. And if it can, then we're going to try to implement one of these methods into a cannon. All right. We put in a small charge of 4F black powder. Um, we're going to try it with the method we tried before because last time we were using 3F. We'll see if the finer granules will ignite. Let's see what happens. Does not ignite. Alright, this here is a, it's marketed as a grill igniter. It takes a single AA battery, $12 on Amazon. And another YouTuber uh, allegedly used this to set off a, a black powder pistol. So we're going to try it. We put some 4F in there and we're going to give it a go and see if it works. Here we go. Let's see. I can hear it clicking. It's definitely making sparks, but it is not igniting 4F powder. spark no fire well this is the bigger of the stun guns Let's see if it does anything all spark no fire all right a couple methods we're going to me mess around with here this was the kerosene igniter uh, off camera unfortunately we hooked it up to what i call my mr destructo box here which has an 18 volt battery in it and it smoked it. It melted the uh, filament in it. Um, we hooked it to a 9 volt. It glowed. We thought we'd try with that and it just smoked the filament. What I did hook it to is your standard turn signal bulb in your car and it will light up and heat that. So we're going to try that and see if that will light some powder off. Alright, so we're going to take this bulb. We're going to heat it up a little bit and see if we can't get the glass to uh, fracture. Normally, if you heat the glass up, hit it with something cold, boom, it cracks the glass, pops it right there. See how I popped that hole in it? That's exactly what we wanted. Now I can take a knife or whatnot and knock some of this glass away. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Success! We have success. That's one way to do it. Um, we're going to see if we can find another way. Keep that glass up on your Christmas bulb just a little bit. You got to sacrifice a little bit of the bang. It doesn't look like it, but it cracked the glass. You knock it right off. Perfect. Exactly what we want. This is our little 3D 
printed uh, test rig for a Christmas light bulb. As you saw, I just broke the glass off the top. I'm going to take a little bit of 4F and work it down into that bulb a little bit. I like leaving most of the bulb on there. It helps protect the filament. I've done these before. I do know they work, but I've never tried one with 18 volts. See if 18 volts works. I didn't get enough powder inside. No fire. I don't know why. Hmm. Interesting. I've had these work in the past. Maybe I've got a bad bulb. Oh, there it goes. Maybe the powder just wasn't sat on it right. Well, there you go. There's some methods that uh, work and some that don't. Uh, we're definitely going to get a kerosene heater igniter because it did glow under the 9-volt battery. Uh, that would be more convenient to attach to your cannon than a 18-volt uh, drill battery. Uh, so we're going to buy another one of those and uh, repeat these tests at a later date. Remember to like, follow, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Dude, that was so f***ing good.